so this is Lance from Lance of Auto, Auto Vlog, and I'm back with another video. Um, wrapping up the McLaren GT Part 2. So what we did was we put the Hertz ML280 tweeters here, as you can see, if you really look and focus on them right there, and got the imaging high, and then we did the Hertz ML70, 700s in the mids here, and then we did the mid base here. As you can see, it's not yellow anymore. You can probably see the chrome emblem in there. Same thing with there. And then we did a quarantine back. And then we did a sub course is back to fill it up and then we did the sub so this car is unique um the way this car sets up it's got all kinds of pops and clicks and all kinds of crap in it um and when you turn it on it's got a it's got a pump that makes a freaking ton of noise when you're driving it or even when you fire it up what i mean by a pump is that that you can hear the um the power steering pump engage and and it also this particular car has a rear back panel that when i fired it up for the first time it had a rattle without any music so i was kind of like what the heck but according to all the vlogs and all the stuff this car just has some weird tendencies in it and most people you know get them understand it when they get the car so it's not unusual so um let's take a look and see what we did overall uh, like i said we did the hertz in the front we did hurt all hertz speakers no matter what in this car um let's put the parking brake on get some things going on so we, were, we did some work on this. We got a K40 already. We did the Hertz speakers. Everything's Hertz except for the amp. We also did the Hertz shallow 10 inch with on that rear package tray. I mean, in the rear section. I'll show, show you that as well. Uh, let me pop that open for you. Oh, let me get out of this car. So, with the box in, so you can see the Hertz here put in. It's actually. We built the custom box for it right here. And you know, all this stuff's carbon fiber. It's really nice. It's got a nice little hatch here. Push button, closes it. And then we're open up the front here. So what we did up here is we did, you can see the McLaren logo. Sorry about the noise. Wish I could be different, but I wanted to show you. So. We did a SR45 for the mid-base, and we did it with the rear as well. Kind of toned it down with some, with some level control. We did the SR5.600 for the sub, the front tweeters, and the rear tweeters, I mean, and the rear and the front mids, and the sub. Under this panel here is going to be your uh, high-to-low converters, and we did a bit Novate under here as well. So everything's ran underneath this panel, and then we have a cover-up panel. I'll show you that. And I'll show you what it looks like with the cover-up panel. So we got, we popped the panel back in, and all it did was raise the floor up quite a bit, but now the back panel's in. And then what we gotta do is basically, now we gotta listen to what it sounds like. So let's so hear how this thing sounds. Um, we also got the sub base knob down here, down here at the bottom. So let's hear how it sounds with the new sub and the upgrade and the audio package. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and comment at the bottom. If you have any questions? This car is kind of unusual, but it's got pops and clicks in, it, in the car that does it with everything turned off. So you just gotta be prepared to deal with it when it comes in. It's a good car. It sounds good. Peace.